Okay, in today's video, somebody had just asked me about how to track external links in uh, Google Analytics 4. So we're just gonna quickly run through on how to do that. And we've done videos before about creating links and how that works. So what we'll do is I'll leave a link up in the corner or to the playlist and you can jump back and you can have a look through some of those. But specifically in this, I'm just gonna use my own website. And what we're talking about when we say external links is anywhere that links away from your website. So, you know, down here we've got, say, my social links, for example. Uh, a good example is often if you have a lead page that goes somewhere else. Um, but in this, what we'll do is we'll link the WhatsApp link and then that's quite a good event to track. So what we can do is you can right click on, on any kind of link like this or that phone number or even this one down here. And what we can do is copy the link address here. And what we can do, we'll just go up to the top and we'll just paste that and just double check that it's there. So there you go, we've got the link to that. And if you click on it, it actually just takes you out to a WhatsApp window so people can contact me about stuff. And what we're gonna do is just jump back into analytics. So you wanna be in your property, which for my one is this. Jump down into the cog in the corner for admin. And we're going to come down into this data display section. Um, before you do this, you'll need to make sure you've got your standard event set up correctly. Um, again, I'll link out to that, but basically you'll need outbound clicks enabled for this to work in your uh, data stream. Um, we could actually, we'll go up quickly. If we go on data stream, and then you can come down to the cog here, you can see I've got them enabled. If they're not enabled there, click on the cog you want outbound clicks enabled. Otherwise, this is just not gonna work. So make sure that's enabled first. And then we'll just go back to admin, into events. And then you can see we've got other ones from um, different videos that we've done. So we've got our email click event, our phone number click event. Again, check out that playlist or the other videos. They're all there on how to do that. So what we're gonna do is go to create event. And what we can actually do, um, well, actually, no, we won't, because I'll assume you don't have these. So, um, yeah, we'll go up to uh, create. And then I'm going to call this one uh, WhatsApp chat click. And for these, I generally just do them all lowercase. I do an underscore between each one, and then that keeps it in line with what's generally there under the standard events. You can sort of see them in the background here. You know, you've got standard ones like order success and uh, things like inquiry form. So let's um, we'll, we'll just keep it in that that way. And then what we want is event name equals, and then it's when somebody clicks something. So we just type in the word click. And then under here, you're going to want to write link, L-I-N-K, uh, sorry, not a bracket, underscore URL. So L-I-N-K underscore URL. And then you can have equals if you put in the exact address. But remember, sometimes um, some might be linking to HTTP or they might not have HTTP or www. So what I generally would do is do contains. Um, and another thing you can do is ignore case because sometimes when people are putting things into content management systems, they'll put capital letters in for URLs. Um, so what you can do is contains and ignore case and then that, that will alleviate a little bit of that. And then what we'll do is paste that in and I will take that bit off because as I say, some people will put in HTTP addresses by accident. So it just contains basically my WhatsApp link and then we'll hit create. And then at the bottom, we should have our WhatsApp chat click. And then what we'll do is we will open up an incognito window. I'll just bring this across into the window. And then we'll go into the website, come down to the bottom, and then I will click on there. And then it's got this opening WhatsApp sort of bit, but we've already come out to the new page. So 
that's fine. It's already happened. We don't need to kind of worry about any of that. We've done it. And the only reason I've gone out there to a, um, a new window is because if the event is created mid-session, so that's if you're already browsing the website, the event isn't going to work for that user. So uh, using incognito kind of gets past that. And then what we're going to do is jump into the home area, jump into reports, and then up here we've got real time jump into the real-time report so we're just in reports real-time and if you scroll down ever so slightly we've got the oh, sorry actually it's in this side here we've got the events and then you'll get one out of six and then you can see there's seven so there's a second page here click on the second page and you can see my whatsapp chat click has come up so essentially now every time somebody clicks on that you won't get it uh yet in the um events menu and again we've gone through this in another video but under engagement you've got the events tab where you can actually come in and you can um you can check out the um different events and how many times they've been clicked and stuff and you can do that by page which again is, is in another video so you can have a look at that if you don't know how to do it but um, yeah, after a day or so it will appear in here and um, only if it's been clicked So you might have to activate it once just to see it in there But um, yeah, it will just start appearing and you'll start collecting data for it So then you can go back and you can have a look and like I say, you know, it might be somebody clicking out to um, a Lead form that's on another page or you might be doing referrals to another site and want to track how many times people have clicked out to it But yeah, hopefully that's helpful if it has been helpful, please give the video a like. If you want to see more content on um, GA4, check out the playlist on here and uh, please subscribe.